Okay guys, what up? This is Konstantin, English Speaking Club HSC. And in this video, we're going to talk about the vocabulary for our next English Speaking Club event, uh, which is going to take place on Saturday. And the topic is home. So we'll talk about different words. So first of all, we're going to talk about types of houses and places people live in. All right, so uh, you can live in different types of accommodation. Um, you might live in a detached house. So it's a single house where um, no one else lives but you. Uh, it could be a terraced house, which is a long, long house with a lot of small houses merged together. So it's usually in the UK, it's pretty common. Uh, it could be a bungalow, uh, like a small house, pretty much a house um, type of accommodation which a lot of people live in in the US, like a one-story house. Um, you don't go upstairs, just one floor. All right, there could be a semi-detached house. Uh, basically, you live under one roof with another family, but um, this, um, you know, parts of the house are totally separated. So you have a separate entrance, separate windows, and uh, separate um, apartments. So you can call them apartments, but semi-detached house. Okay. So if you live in an apartment, it's either an apartment or a self-contained flat, an apartment which belongs to you. You might live in a cottage, a small house in the country or in a village. So in Russia, there is an expression dacha. Uh, so in English, you can call it a um, country house or a cottage or a summer house, whatever you find comfortable. A lot of young people live in studio apartments or studio flats. It's basically a small apartment where there is only one room so you know what it is. And if you are very rich and you live in a big house with the gardens or on a holiday resort, you live in a villa. There are a lot of places um, in the home and you might have seen a short video where I show you the main words there. It's pretty useful. So let me go a little bit deeper into this. So master bedroom or uh, main bedroom, it's the largest bedroom, the biggest one. There could be some more bedrooms there. Uh, there is a utility room, a place where you usually keep some stuff like washing machine, um, a freezer, you know, it's usually in a, a detached house, of course. Uh, there might be a shed where you keep some garden tools, um, your bicycle, whatsoever. Uh, you might have an attic or a loft, so it's uh, the place uh, under the roof, the upper floor where you usually store some stuff or it could be a nice area to chill out. Uh, you could have a cellar, it's usually below, below ground level. This is where people normally keep a wine and uh, just store some stuff as well. Uh, there could be a basement. There is a slight difference between a basement and the cellar. So a basement, actually you can live there, although it is located um, below the ground level and it still has windows, so it's still possible to live there. Living in their parents' basement. All right, so a studio, I think it's understood. Uh, it could be also a place where painters work. Uh, a landing or a staircase landing, it's the area when you go up the stairs. So small platform where you could put some flowers or some pictures. Uh, what else? Uh, there could be a hallway or a hall which separates the area between rooms. Uh, there could be a porch where you just sit or you, you enter the porch before entering the house and you can just sit there and read a newspaper and relax that is exactly three seconds to get off my porch with your nuts intact one uh you could have a terrace or a patio it's a very similar area to porch however uh, this area is usually paved so uh, there is a roof and which protects you from from rain and it could be also um, with windows and people usually sit there, eat, drink tea, whatsoever. Uh, the drive, uh, like drive, is the road uh, from the main road to your house, to the garage. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. All right, there are some objects that you use at home. One of them is a remote control or just a remote, which you use to switch the television, turn on Netflix or whatever. A corkscrew is a very useful thing to open up some wine bottles. You definitely need a phone charger. Uh, what else is important? In the kitchen, uh, you might have some knives, you might have some peelers or a peeler. It's a place to peel uh, potatoes, for example. 
uh, you usually have a chopping board to, to cut, to chop um, some vegetables or meat. Um, in a dressing room, you might have a hanger or a coat hanger to hang your clothes. Uh, you definitely need to have an ironing board, although I don't usually iron much, but it's definitely useful. So uh, there is a socket or an electrical outlet so that you use to charge your phone. And uh, in order to clean the house, you use a dustpan and a brush. All right, I don't know if people still use it anymore, but if there is something small, you can definitely clean it up. Uh, when you cook, you might use a grater uh, to prepare some cheese for spaghetti, for example. And sometimes people use table mats um, to put some plates, um, I mean, to, to, to keep everything clean, and so it's easy to uh, take it out. All right, so remember that uh, at home, you do your housework. So you clean the house, you do the ironing. Also, there is a process like vacuuming or uh, hoovering. Uh, I don't know, I usually say vacuuming. And you do the washing up, or if you have a washing machine, you don't have to do it yourself. You get it done. All right, so this was the key vocabulary here, okay? Uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to get some more vocabulary and prepare for the events. Uh, what else is important? Yeah, I also post shorts, so short videos. Uh, you can also get some information there and subscribe to our next event which is going to take place on saturday 6 30 plus 3 greenwich time or moscow time there's going to be a lot of interesting people there and invite your friends on social media okay there is also another channel called thrifty backpacking this is where i observe some cheap accommodation and a lot of cheap stuff that you could do while traveling and what else what else what else yeah also you can improve your english speaking skills by subscribing to a course which i run myself so there's also a link right there all right guys see you see you very soon and uh, take care bye